Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Dragon Quest 7. In the last episode, we went through the time frame, or what the fuck is it called? The frame of time, or some kind of shit. Now we're going to check out the bridge grand opening. Yeah, they they aren't gonna know. It's all right. It's quite all right. What? It's not here. the hell? The guy that made the bridge is not even here for the grand opening? What the hell, man? Yeah, total pain in the neck. Alright, thanks, Gabo. Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, but this guy, um, Pompasso, he's actually the, um, father of Antonia. Apparently. Forgot about the opening ceremony. What's wrong with you, man? Oh well. So let us take the bridge to the other side. Absolutely. different, I'll give him that. Garden of Herbs. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Well, let's take a look around. Yeah, we're in the, um, Green Thumb Gardens area again, huh? Except we're in a completely different time period. We're in the past, but we're not in the same past that we were in before. We're actually 
Uh, I want to say like 20 years later, maybe 30 years later. But yeah, it's the late. It's it's in the past, but it's a later time. So that's kind of cool, I guess. We'll be going to Green Thumb Gardens eventually. We just I just want to do a little recon here. There we go. And we get a pirate's hat. Use this. There you go, Gabo. Finding all kinds of nice stuff. Now, I want to say that the cave over here doesn't have any new treasure. I think it's all been, like it's the same treasure list that would be there, uh, like, you know, on the other timeline. But I'm going to make sure. Gotta remember what fours actually have treasure though. That's kind of the problem right now. might be a giant waste of time. But I have to be sure, because I, I think, I don't know, I, every guy I've looked at hasn't really mentioned this area here. So, let's see. God, there's gotta be treasure on this one, right? to me like uh, there is no treasure in there I'm yeah I'm I'm pretty sure man pretty sure just go in there off screen and just explore the, the entire cave thoroughly just to confirm it. Well, this place is just as laggy as ever. Check the equipment shop. Uh, I don't think there's any new, like, items you could find here. Uh, you can buy some newer gear. 
Uh, there's Cautery Sword here. We'll cast the Sizz spell. If you care about that. I don't. Uh, this Ledger the Mantle. Um, not as good as the um, Magic Vestment as far as damage reduction. So I wouldn't get it. Not worth the money. Chamomile. Ooh, dog has a name. Still, remember this guy? Wow, well, Caraway's got an herb garden. That's cool. The lion? <laughs> yeah, Dan the lion, flowers, herbs. Nice one, game designers. This town lags. Fucking deserves to fucking die, man. Jeez. Anyway. Feed the dogs some table scraps. Yeah, so like Cayenne is uh, like I don't know, she's like a charge basically. Yeah, she used to just be a maid and I don't know. She made a joke about poisoning people though, that wasn't cool. Dog doesn't like it. What's going on with the food, man? Looks like she's eating it anyways.
Or lavender. And she ended up leaving. Alright, so let's go to the herb garden, find out what's going on. This is some dark ass shit, man. The fucking dog keeled over because it was eating some some fucked up food. Yeah. Dog was poisoned. Some fucked up shit going on. Seriously, man. Fuck. At least the poor guy's gonna survive. Gabble very angry. And it could be like his long lost cousin. The wolves, well, I guess wolves and dogs are loosely related, but not really. Yeah, she was poisoning her husband, huh? Yeah, we gotta find out what's going on here.
This is some fucking dark ass shit, man. <laughs> wow. We don't have any evidence yet. But I think it's pretty fucking clear. <laughs> wow. It's messed up, Mirabelle. Why would you want to torture the poor girl like that? I mean, if that's her livelihood, you don't want to do that. Man, then we got this guy. I guess the elder that was the owner of this house before died or something like that, and this guy took over? Or maybe it's his kid? I'm not even sure. I always fucking can't remember what to do next to this part. Yeah, man, this is like a dog hater in this town. No, not really. This is an accident. No, no. The dog is still alive, thankfully. Um, maybe we gotta go in here. What are you see again? I don't know how to trigger this next event. I always it always takes me a while to figure this out.
Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, that's clumsy. We get the dubious concoction. It's all right, we're going to get the last laugh. Yeah, Gabo is a growing boy. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, he's not going to grow very, uh, he's not going to grow very big if he's eating poison, though. Oh, you don't want what she's got, man. Special ingredient. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we gotta go back to the shack over here. Yeah, man. She deserves it, too. It's fucked up. Uh, no. 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 You fool. What the must situation, huh? Oh boy.
<gülüyor> Ey numarasın. Yeah, go put all down, bitch. All of it. Doesn't that just beat all? Wow, what a fucking bitch. <laughs> Fuck. This is one of my favorite parts in the game though. Cause, cause it's just so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty, pretty messed up, man. Yeah, man. Plotting and scheming. Some fucked up shit. Carrington is Lavender's son, I guess. Yeah, my dad's pretty awesome. He wouldn't do stuff like that. Alright, so this guy's gonna stay here with Herby and work on the Herb Garden. I guess. I guess they got ran out of town. They're gone forever. I don't really know the whole point of that story sequence. I mean, you don't get any items for doing it, I don't think. Well, maybe you do.
So who's this other fucking lady? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I think that's all there is to do here, really. And really, that's that's pretty much it. You don't get any items for that little scene there or anything, as far as I know. But yeah, some fucked up shit. Definitely want to make our way over this direction because we can get some really good accessories in here. Lavender. She's fine. What, the little girl? His name is Lavender? Interesting. That guy kind of looks like Caraway, doesn't he? Except he's got a mustache now. Okay, 30 years, that's right. This place is the Wilted Heart. It certainly was. But yeah, we've been here before, but it's a little bit different than it is in the uh, present time, obviously. I think it's I got a different name in the present time too. Slightly different name. Now, uh, I want to say that we can get items in here. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Definitely explore this area. Incredible. 
Yeah, big balls of jelly, man. Anyway, we want to come over here and talk to this fella. This guy sells Mercury's bandanas for fairly cheap. I'm going to pick up four of them. Just going to put them in the bag for now. Yeah, they're really good. Really, really good. Uh, agility plus 30. Best successor you can have in the game at this point. kind of sad. Uh, yeah, I guess. Wasn't his favorite herb. In the present time, basically that um, person that was buried next to Caraway is the child, not the lavender that he was in love with. All right, a silver tiara, not that I care. More importantly, a mini metal. Yeah. Fuck yeah, man. That is mini metal number forty one. get up to the comment I'm probably gonna end the video what the fuck what's going on with my controller my controllers wigging out for no reason oh great fantastic my controller just fucking died on me 
Uh, that's all for this episode of Dragon Quest 7. Once I get this shit situated... Uh... <laughs> wow. What the fuck, man. See you next time. Bye-bye.